Why do haters hate? In a wealth-obsessed world where every demographic has their politically correct but ultimately narrow-minded ideologies, it's not hard to see how the rise of the hater came about. But is the hater really cynical or is she a poser? Thought to be an exemplar of cynicism, ancient Greek philosopher Diogenes of Sinope actively pursued a lifestyle in spite of social conventions. His goal, however, was not simply to give people the finger. He lived his philosophy, which held that reason is superior to the passions, that courage is superior to wealth, and social convention should be flouted wherever possible. You see, all three make life more complicated. More importantly, they make a virtuous life vastly more difficult to achieve. By detaching oneself from these things, however, one will have a better, freer life. Obviously, separating oneself from the conveniences of modern life is no easy feat. In fact, many of us would think it makes life worse, not better. But this is just the sort of thing Diogenes did, because he believed in pursuing freedom in action, speech, and self-sufficiency. Haters, on the other hand, are superficial. They merely look down at everything that's not down, cool, rad, hard, tight. Although doing so might be fun, it's not meaningful. It doesn't accomplish anything. At least, that's what Diogenes the Cynic would likely say. A cynic is someone who puts himself at risk, at least so far as social status is concerned. But it could be even more dangerous than that. The cynic takes life seriously. A cynic would be one, for example, who chooses to be homeless, who is genuinely not impressed with supposedly important people, and who aims at living a simple life in conformity with nature. The hater just stands back from the crowd in order to pass judgment, but they don't actually do anything in support of their professed view. Mostly, they're just jealous of what they don't have, which actually makes them prime targets for the real cynics. It's a lot harder to be earnest and rational in your quest for a virtuous life, to be a cynic than it is to merely be critical, to brush off a question with some smug comment like, if you have to ask, you obviously don't get it. Cynicism demands real action, because the cynic aims at virtue. So, dear viewer, are you merely a player-hater or are you an original cynic? Hello, dear viewer, and thanks so much for watching and supporting 8-Bit Philosophy. Another great way you can help us keep making the show is by supporting the sponsors that generously support us. Today, 8-Bit Philosophy is sponsored by Audible, which is giving away a free audiobook to you for being a viewer of the show. Head to audible.com 8-Bit and get yourself a free audiobook. If you lack the free will to select an audiobook yourself, <laughs> let us recommend Think by Simon Blackburn. It offers a great introduction to many of the topics in our episodes. Audible's got more than 150,000 of them, and it couldn't be easier to get them. Just go to audible.com slash 8-bit. And if you like the show, some other ways you can show your support is by liking this video sharing it and subscribing to the channel, liking 8-Bit Philosophy on Facebook, and following us on Twitter. And of course, be looking out for new episodes of 8-Bit Philosophy every other Sunday. Thank you, beloved viewers.